Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro. A very, very exciting moment because we have Android 12 stable available for this particular device. We have flashed it and if you want to know how to install it, there is a video at the top or at the bottom. I'll link it, just go ahead and follow that. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the absolute raw initial impressions. Now, what this means is I've just installed it. I've not explored it at all. I'm going to, you know, just go ahead and experience it in front of the camera and tell you what exactly is working what is not working the developer has clearly mentioned this is a daily driver build and this video will definitely concrete that you know cement that particular claim that you can use it as a daily driver but before we get into the initial impressions if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what do we have here. Let's go to settings. Let's go to about phone over here. And if you actually go to Android version, Android version 12, October security patch. And kernel is the perf kernel and this is the build number now this is aosp android 12 it is not a pixel port or a custom rom based on android 12 it is a very very raw and clean version of android that is the reason the moment you boot into this you don't even have a you know a lot of applications you have very very basic apps and another thing that i would like to share over here the build that i flashed as you seen in the installation video is the build that comes with G apps. So probably most of these applications, if you were to flash just vanilla without G apps, you would not even see those. You do have your play store, which is working fine. As you can see over here, it does say device is not certified because I did not flash Majisk. Now you do need to flash Majisk to have safety net to work. So that is the thing that you need to take care of. Talking about the camera application, it comes with a very, very basic camera application, but I'm pretty sure that most of the Gcam stuff should be working just fine. You do have your Google folder over here and very, very subtle animation. Let's have a look. How smooth is it? That is my first question. It definitely feels quick and smooth. And I'm pretty sure things will improve. So you do have your beautiful Monet UI working in all its glory. And the reason you see this dark color is because of the wallpaper. So if you press and hold over here, you go to wallpaper and style. You have themed icons, which is still in beta, right? Allow access to wallpapers, change wallpaper. Okay. So you don't really have a wallpaper over here. And if you see, let's go to Chrome light mode off let's see here let's select a lighter wallpaper say for example this one so let's go to download open open with you can select photos and then use as set wallpaper there you have it right so not much changing there, but Monet UI in on all its glory is doing a great job. You do see that these themed icons over here are changing color and a subtle color change over here. This is the real deal. This is the actual Android 12 stable for which we have been waiting since beta 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a lot of other things. So let's actually see over here in the home screen. If you long press, you do have wallpaper and style where you can do all the customization you need. Apart from this, you have your widgets, which useful info at your fingertips. So you have your widgets, which are set in a very, very organized way. So that is something neat. And then you have your home settings in which you have very, very basic options. So let's quickly go to settings here. And you do see that this whole settings menu is now following the Monet UI, which is really, really great. So if you actually go to network and internet and select a Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and disconnect, forget, you can share this with a QR code and yes, your FOD is working beautiful. That is something really neat. 
5 gigahertz Wi-Fi wi working fine, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi working fine. So no issues at all with the Wi-Fi. Over here, you do have your network preferences. Moving on, under notifications, you do have your notification history option, which you can go ahead and turn on and it is really, really useful. You have conversations and bubbles. Now remember, WhatsApp still doesn't support bubbles, but it is an interesting feature nonetheless. Now the important part over here is battery because you do have thermal profiles over here which should help in your gaming and benchmark. Really good to see that in the initial build and you have your battery manager and by default a battery percentage option. Now under sound you have all various options but you do have the direct sound enhancer with hi-fi as well, right? So if you go ahead and unlock the screen with always on display it works like a charm as you can see over here with a beautiful animation it works really really great and that's good to see on an initial build looks like with android 12 the fod woes are gone and it is a really really step in the right direction you do have your anti-flicker mode over here as well and in security you have screen lock and fingerprint. I don't see face unlock yet, but that should come at a later time. Under gestures, you can go ahead and set the system navigation to gesture navigation and it will work really, really great. So all in all, even in settings of Android 12, you will see most of the things which were already present in the betas, but this is more polished. This definitely feels like a daily driver. I mean, just look at this first build, and the unlocking through the FOD works really, really well. How is the battery life? How is the gaming performance? What are the benchmark numbers? I will probably make a 24 hour review tomorrow evening or day after tomorrow. For now, that is the first look at the beautiful Monet engine powered or Monet UI powered Android 12 AOSP build. It really looks ready to be used as a daily driver. Let me know in the comment section, are you excited for this or not? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.